back everyone chief sheridan here um, in this video we will be covering our compound layouts so as always i invite you to log into the live site and follow along with me on your end you can see here i've already added some basic columns to my query i've added full name soldier home uic rank and email address once i added those columns in criteria to select my results tab and your results tab takes you to what's called a compound layout now, a compound layout is pretty relatable to a page within a dashboard. If you remember a page in a dashboard, I can have multiple views or as many as I want. It's the same concept with a compound layout. I can have as many views in this one layout as I want. Now, the first thing we want to do when we're building a new query is come over to our Save As button and make sure we save this report to our folder. Once you save your report, you'll notice that your title view has changed and it brought over the name of your report. Now, by default, every compound layout will start with a title view and a table view. You can see those down on your bottom left-hand side. Your views box will show every single view that's available to you or that you've built in your one analysis. Now, if I want to edit my title view, Simply select your view, hover over your pencil icon, and select Edit View. You can see our display for our save name is here, but if I want my title to be named something different, I can uncheck my display save name box, and I can name this something different. You can see my title has changed. I also have the option to select an image. So there's a bunch of preloaded images in here. So you can add an image if you want to your title. I can add a subtitle if I want. I have a URL option if it's applicable. And I also have a date time stamp. So I can display the date and time this analysis was run and it will always display. Once you're done editing, come up here and select done. And now you can see your title view has changed. Now, in addition to the edit view option that you saw, we also have format container. From here, I can change the alignment of my text. I can add a background color. I can add a border if I want. I can add a border style. I can add a border color. Now at any time I can remove this view from my layout by selecting remove view from compound layout option. So if I hit the X button, you'll notice that the view still exists here. So until I completely delete this view from my analysis, it will always remain here. If I wanted to delete it from my analysis, I have my two arrow drop down or show more buttons and I have a remove view option and I have a rename view option. If I wanna place this back in my layout, I simply drag and drop it and wherever the blue bar is, is where it's going to be placed at in the report or layout. I'll put it back above the title and now it exists on my compound layout again. For my table, I have the same options. So if I wanna rename my table view, Select my show more buttons drop down. I'll rename my table. Select OK. Now you can see it's been renamed here and here. No different than my title, I can remove this view and it still exists here. I can move it back. I also have the option to edit my view. So we'll select edit view. When it comes to editing our table views, I have a couple of different options. So we can see under the columns and measures, these are all the columns that are currently being displayed. I have the option to exclude columns. So if I wanna move my 
or get rid of my email address and exclude it from just this table view only. I can move the email address to my excluded column or excluded box. And now you can see that column's been removed. I can drag and drop it back. I also have table prompts and sections. So our table prompts allow me to have a drop down with all the different values of that column. So if I move Soldier Home UIC up to my table prompt, you can see now it's changed it to a toggle or drop down, and I can move between UICs, Alpha Company, Bravo Company, Charlie Company, et cetera. For my sections, whatever column I place in sections, it'll split up those values into different sections for that table. So if I move rank to sections, you can see it's now split up into sections by rank. I'll move rank back down. I'll keep my home UIC as a table prompt and I'll select done. You can see my table prompt still exists here and I can toggle between my UICs. No different than my title view, I have a format container where I can change the alignment, add a border if I want. And I also have a properties option on my table. So within properties, if you have multiple columns in that one table and you don't like the scrolling from left to right option, you can change your data viewing from fixed headers with scrolling to content paging, and that'll allow you to view all columns in one view and you won't have to toggle or scroll from left to right. You can also change the settings for your display folders and column headings. You can include rows with only null values. You can change your row styling. Um, if you have duplicate values, you can repeat them in each row so on and so forth. So I'm going to change mine from fixed headers to content paging. Select OK. Now I only have three columns in here, but there is no scroll bar. So if you had multiple columns in here, this is a good option to view everything in one screen. Now, similar to the pages in the dashboard, I can have multiple compound layouts. So if I want to add another layout, I have my add or create compound layout option here. And similar to the dashboard, it adds another compound layout. I can rename my compound layout. You can see it here. At any time, I can also get rid of this layout. So I'll just delete this layout we just created. And I will remove that title that it brought over from my new compound layout. Now, your bar graph drop down icon here allows you to add new views. We'll get into some of these visualizations in future videos. But as you start adding new views in here, you can then drag and drop over to your report, similar to this title and master table view. Towards the top, I also have print options, so I can print this to a PDF for HTML. I can export. And I have print and export options here. So think of your compound layout and relate it to the page within a dashboard. You can customize this however you want based on your analysis. Keep in mind, of course, that it's all based on the columns and filters that you add in your criteria page.
but I can add as many table views, bar graph views, performance measure tiles as I want to this one compound layout. That's all I have for you on this video. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you did, don't forget to give us a like, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow us on MillSuite. Um, if you have any questions of me, please leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Uh, thanks for tuning in and we will see you on our next video. Defend and serve.